everybody. Well, what I'm going to go over today is uh, this object here, which is called a compound microscope. This compound microscope started around the late 1500s, early 1600s, and it dominated all the way till today, basically, until the early 1900s when the electron microscope really revolutionized the way we saw cells because it definitely could magnify at a greater uh, greater rate. Okay, so as a student of anatomy and physiology, you're going to be studying cells, tissues, and organs, and this is the structure that you want to use. What this basically does is that it gets, there's a light down here that goes through this structure, and it goes up to the stage where the specimen is located. And then you have a visual of a cell. And within that cell, you can be able to see uh, everything. You won't get as far down to seeing electrons and protons, but you will see organelles and definitely a cell. Okay, so right here is where you're going to be looking to see the, uh, the, the specimen, the slide that you're looking at. And those are called the ocular lenses. Ocular lens, this has, this has an ocular lens here and another ocular lens up here. Then here you can see uh, these are the body tubes okay, that connect the ocular lens. We have the rotating nose piece right here. This is a rotating nose piece. This uh, will rotate the different magnification and each magnification is located in one of these structures which are called objective lenses. And here, this one's a 100 magnification. This one here is 40 times magnification, and this one here is 10, and then here you have the least, which is 4 times magnification. Okay, so what else do we got next here? We have the, uh, this is the mechanical stage, this part right here, it's mechanical stage, the silver right here. This allows you to move the mechanical stage about the uh, y-axis and then this one will let you move left to right about the x-axis. So that just allows you to be able to put the microscope slide and you can move it around. This is just, that's the mechanical stage. This is the stage itself. That's where you place the, uh, the microscope slide. This is the iris diaphragm lever, and the iris diaphragm lever will allow more or less light to be able to go through. When you go left and right here on the iris diaphragm lever, it, is, uh, it opens and closes the hole. So it allows more or less of that condensed light to go up. We have our condenser, the condenser. See, a condenser is a small lens under the stage that narrows the beam of light and directs it through the specimen okay, on the slide. Okay, what else do we got here? Iris ring, we got the condenser, we got the substage light. Okay, so that turns on, there's a light that comes right through there. Okay, here we have the head. Okay, right up here, this is the head. Okay, this is the arm here. Okay, when you hold this, you should hold the arm with one hand, and the other hand you should be holding it underneath like that. Okay, here we have our power switch that turns the light on and off. Okay, I don't have this connected. Okay, we do have a course adjustment knob, which is this guy right here. It's a course adjustment knob, and this one down here is the fine adjustment knob. So the course adjustment knob will allow you to lift the stage up and down and it will get you in the vicinity. The course is, it's like going into a state, okay? In order to really see within that state a particular city or, or a town, then you're going to need the fine adjustment knob to really put into view, it's called the field of view, uh, more focused. And then basically here you have the base. Okay. So to review, here we have the ocular lenses. 
We have here the body tubes. Here we have the head. Here we have the rotating nose piece. Here we have the objective lenses for the different magnifications. Here you have the mechanical stage, allows you to move about the X and the Y axis. Here you have the stage where you put the slide on. Here you have the iris diaphragm, allows a little bit of light or more light to come onto the specimen through that hole in the stage. Okay, here's the condenser, which creates that narrow beam of light from the substage light. Here you have the coarse adjustment knob okay, and the fine adjustment knob just below that. And here you have the base. Okay. So that's the compound microscope. Not the same pointing the structures out versus actually putting a slide on there and looking at it. it takes a little bit of uh, practice. Once you get that uh, practice uh, pretty good, then you'll be able to uh, appreciate the specimen that you're looking at. Okay, I think that's about it. That's all I have for the compound microscope. Hope you like this video. Take care. I will talk to you later on the next video. Goodbye.